They say a good dog is worth 10 farm workers, if you can find them. I got 14,000, we're all good on that, sir, 140,000, wasn't it? And with plenty of growers desperate for farm workers, WA's first working dog auction in more than a decade pulled a crowd, competing with interstate bidders online. 19 Kelpies and Collies on offer, with growers willing to pay for good breeding and a solid work ethic. Some just apprentices. Good nature, great on stock. Others showing how it's done trained and ready for work. Well, we've got a reserve of $2,000 on them. Obviously, it isn't a huge amount of money, but being uh, this is something new for WA, just having your dogs out there and being able to showcase them is, is pretty special in itself. Peter Barr, who judged on the TV show Muster Dogs, brought his truck full of Kelpies across the Nullarbor. I've got um, a few dogs in the auction here today to support it. It's their first year this year in... 2022. His dog Ollie fetching. For some breeders, selling their workers is a tough call. He's a very soft nature and he's a real mummy's boy or real sook and he's going to have to go to a really special home as far as somebody that understands a, a dog with a softer mentality. Yeah, she'll be hard for me to sell. Yeah, like she's three years old and I've had her since she was eight weeks old and I've trained her, I bred her. His three-year-old Tanner went into the auction with a reserve of 12,000. It was soon surpassed. At 15,100 it goes, bidding done. There we go. For Tanner's new owner, a bargain. Oh, well, I think good trained dogs are worth good money now, so I mean, a dog like this made, would have made quite a bit more in the eastern states. So, yeah, probably good value for money. A reliable hand on a minimum wage. Mark Bennett, ABC News, Katanning.